Hello YouTube, it's Strawberry Bennies and today I went to Yankee Candle for their Bony Bunch collection. So I will show you what came out this year and it was the 15th year anniversary for Bony Bunch. And if you're new here and you don't know what Bony Bunch is, it are these really cute um, bone like figures that are skeletons and they're super cute and there's always a theme. Well, this year, since it was the 15th anniversary, it was all about celebrate. So, I'm gonna show you the ones I got. So let's get started. And also, please like, share, and subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, one of my blueberries, hello. If you're new here, please subscribe. You may win from my giveaway every month. Wanted to mention this real quick. If you go today, you get this coupon, which is for a 50% off buy one regular price item. And then, yeah, 50% off. You also get a free votive. The free votive that my store gave was Witch's Brew. It is not one of my favorites. It smells like patchouli. <laughs> but I always meet this lady that's always there. She's someone like me that loves Halloween. She leaves her bony bunch out all year. She was nice enough to give me one of her votives too. But that's absolutely free. You get it just by buying anything in the store. So, let's get started. I'll go with this box first. So the first thing is this. This was $15 today instead of $25, so you get a savings. It is a jack-o'-lantern with a spider. It has another spider with this beautiful decorative cobweb. Love the jack-o'-lantern. It's similar to one I have right here, but different. You can put a small, medium, or large jar size candle in there. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. This is the large jar. Super cute. Oh, I love it. And he looks so different from my other one. And if you can tell, he's got little hands. I'll be showing all of my Bony Bunch collection after I show these. So if you want to see my whole collection, which I have several from since the beginning of Bony Bunch was released, then stay tuned, but let's keep going. So since it was the 15th anniversary, I had to get the Happy Birthday Bony Bunch. And we've got dripping blood for frosting. We have a jack-o'-lantern. We have the guy looking surprised with the birthday hat. He has a spider. I don't, I don't know if the spider is supposed to be up like that or if it's supposed to be hanging. I don't know. I'll have to find out. Or if you put it to the side. I think I like it better on the side. But this can have a votive or tea light. So we're just going to use one of these electric uh, tea lights to see what it looks like in here. My votives that I got, which were battery operated, they're not as bright as the tea lights. Ooh, you see that? Super cute. And look at him. He's even like, like he's blowing out the candles. Cute. He was $25. And I don't like it that they don't have the year. My other Bony Bunch says the year that I got it, which I really like that. I wish they'd come back with that. Super cute, and he's in a tuxedo. <laughs> so that's him. This is a witch, and she is holding a bottle of wine or champagne, and it says, cheers, and then witches. <laughs> and she is a witch. They don't really release a lot of the witches. I actually have one of the other witches that they released. This one, she is holding a magic ball that lights up, it's battery operated, and then you have a tea light over here and this jack-o'-lantern. And then some like, she's at a tarot cards kind of table with moons and stuff. I love her hat, how it's wobbly. It's kind of like squiggly. She's redhead again. And all of these Bony Bunch characters have names, but I don't know what her name is. But here it is with a votive. It looks cute with the free votive. And here it is with the tea light. 
super, super cute. Love that. This next one I had to get because I have a large Boney Bunch collection of them, and it's the dogs and the cats. So this was the dogs this year. It is a dog couple. I think they're supposed to be a bride and groom, and it almost gives me Lady and the Tramp vibes. They're on a huge heart. Can you tell it's a heart? It was $25.99, and it has beautiful, whoop, it has beautiful little posies on it. And this can set a tea light or a votive, but it could also set a little miniature glass um, candle on there. This isn't a Yankee candle jar, but you'll get the idea. It's from Walmart. <laughs> Super cute. So please like, share, and subscribe. And... I'm going to go around my living room and my kitchen and show you all of my Boney Bunch. So let's go. So I'm going to show you the two down here so you can see them. I have this Boney Bunch hat. And this was $19.99. It doesn't say the year, just a sticker where they were supposed to write it. But this goes on top of glass jars. So very cute. Then I have this, which was a candy dish, and his eyes are off because he's really old. This was from 2010, and um, this was $30, but I think I got this for like five bucks because um, it was one of the deals of the Boney Bunch day. This has bats all around it, and it's dirty because I actually set this outside by my door on Halloween, and I light all kinds of candles in here. So it's really dirty from being outside. And I've also used it as a planter. So. So this is the next item. This is Snow White in the Seven Dwarfs. So it says Bone White. She's eating the poison apple. And this says spooky, yucky, icky, scary, icky again. <laughs> Creepy and uh, slimy. Yeah, I love that. It says a large, small, or medium jar of candle. She's my favorite, like Bony Bunch. This was $29.99, and again, it doesn't say the year on this one, but this one's kind of old. This one is from last year. It is the dog trainer of Bones the Dog. It is an aroma melt. So it burns the um, wax up here with the tea light. And here's where the dog's setting like the lions do. He's got his whip. Here's the witch. Like I said, her crystal ball lights up. It changes colors. The jack-o'-lantern, which matches the big jack-o'-lantern over here. I'll show you. Pumpkin, stars, a spider, she's got rings, swirly dress, setting on a stool, beautiful red curly hair, more rings, super cute, and it holds a tea light or a votive. She, I want to say, was 25 bucks, and she was from 2011. See, they have it stamped on. I love that. Here's the big jack-o'-lantern. And see, it's got skeleton hands, like there's someone inside. This holds a small, medium, or large candle. And then, what's cool too, is I have the little Aboni Bunch candle hanger. That is a bat. He's supposed to be Batman. This one's rare. This guy's like 400 bucks, which is crazy. And I'll show you the bottom of this. And he was from 2015. And again, I think he was one of those, like this can also be a candy dish, but I think that was one of those, hey, buy this and it's cheaper today for the Boney Bunch release. Just like the one this year. Super cute. So here are some of my dogs. We've got this candle topper. Fetch candy. It's got candy corn. Bones the dogs, and it says, play dead. 
look what the cat dragged in. I don't know what the cat's name is. The new one from this year. Bones is a head doctor. <laughs> a steampunk hat that goes with some of the steampunk collection. Bobbing for apples. Oh, I just love that he's the headless. Um, the headless man, that's usually the headless horseman. He's kind of hard to get. He's from 2011. We've got Boney Joel, Piano Man. We've got a mouse, a spider. He's playing and it says a tip or treat. And these up here are for tea lights. Um, Yankee Candle usually has the ones that as you burn them, it looks like red wax. All of the skeleton keys, bones for the stool. And then it says, Bony Joel Piano Man, and these um, piano keys even has skulls, like, for the notes. And then I've showed you the witch. This is the steampunk guy. He's flying on this crow. All of those lights light up, and they flash different colors. So huge. Really cool. He was hard to get, but he goes with the steampunk collection. I have this one lit up. He is on a carousel. He was from last year. All those lights, like, I think they just say gold, but they have little skulls around them. Votive tea light holder. This little baby was from 2018. He's holding a bat, setting on a jack-o'-lantern. Then you've already seen the cake from this year, and this one is also from 2018. This whole collection was like a murder mystery who did it. This is Death by Chocolate. She's the little, like, maid. And there's a cake and cupcakes in the back with the skull. So we've got this uh, bride and groom. They're dancing. And it says, dead on my feet. And it burns tea lights. Super cute. She has, like, details. Like, she's got a bow. And then I think she was supposed to have, like, a spider or something on the back of her bow. Gorgeous, gorgeous candle. From 2015, I want to say. We've got this cat with a top hat and my favorite cat that says Bone Tire. It's uh, two different jack-o'-lanterns, so this one's smiling, and this one's like, ooh. And I think this was supposed to be the front, but since the cat sits in front of it, you couldn't see like his face, so they turned it. And this one is kind of old too, it's from 2014. And here's more of this little cat. And $9.99, 2012. I do have some of the Boney Bunch ornaments that were only given to employees, but they let me buy them. Um, this is the a bride and groom. I also have a guy holding his head. The only one of the ornaments I don't have is the one that's Santa Claus. I can't find where I put the other ones on here. My other holy grail I put up here in my Halloween village is the Boney Bunch Mansion. There's Mr. Bones holding his pumpkin. This is actually a skeleton key, like door. You can put a candle in here and it lights up the whole entire house. I'll go ahead and show you that. That's the, you can put the top on it, but all of these like light up the candle. I don't know if you can see it because it is still daytime, but it's pretty. Then this big castle that's in the background, you can light uh, five to six candles. This was part of like a Halloween collection they just put with the Boney Bunch. And then I have the Boney Bunch Hospital and the Boney Bunch Headless Horseman. They're both being glued right now. They're the only Boney Bunch that's ever given me trouble. The Headless Headman, the Headless Horseman especially, breaks all the time. So <laughs> that's my whole collection. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you get to buy some fall stuff this year. All right, bye.